Hey guys, welcome back. Certainly glad you could join me today. In this video, we're going to talk about copyright and how it affects us as game developers. There seems to be a bit of confusion around this topic, particularly on certain sharing forums where people tend to rip off each other's work or make blatant copies, usually under the guise of remake. The belief is that because games artworks are created using Dash Studio, that it can't be copyrighted and thus people can just rip off each other's content and nobody can do anything about it. This is a pretty dangerous mentality, to be honest, and I want to clear up the facts so that you, my friends and viewers, don't fall foul of litigation because it can get really, really expensive. Copyright is an all-encompassing law that protects original content and original creations, whether that's a beautiful sonnet or an oil painting or an adult visual novel. You can't copyright a person's face or a likeness, though, since those things aren't really created by anyone. However, you could copyright a picture of that person's likeness, which is why so many people unknowingly commit copyright theft. Basically sharing any photograph without the copyright holder's permission is technically theft, although you could argue the fair use case in most situations. In most cases, the content creator, the original content creator, i.e. the photographer or the person who created the picture, is always the copyright holder unless there's an agreement or a contract in place to pass that ownership to another person. You don't have to actually do anything to copyright your work. As long as you can reasonably prove the date that you created it, copyright is an automatic right and you don't need to pay some company to do it for you. Although some larger companies do hire people to kind of protect their content, but that's more about recording the dates of certain design elements and things like that. So like in the Apple or Samsung situation where they're constantly sort of counter suing each other or they were anyway. So how does this affect us as Daz Studio users? Well, essentially a character in Daz is an artistic creation. So if you're using a character that you bought from the Daz Studio marketplace, you wouldn't be able to copyright the likeness of the character. Even using morphs to create a new character, you'd still be considered to using the original artwork for morphs or textures. So it would still be somebody else's copyright property. If you were to be able to create your own character from scratch using your own geometry, your own textures, then you could indeed copyright that. Even though you can't copyright the likeness of your characters, the characters themselves, for example, their personal details, their name, their story, would be considered your original creation. For example, if you created a game about a guy called, say, Max, who lives with his mum and his two sisters, and there's a few various other kind of ancillary characters. And a couple of years later, someone else tries to recreate your game using the same art assets. You would likely be able to sue them for copywriting your story, your characters and your artwork in the cases where they just reuse your render. But you wouldn't be able to sue them for the characters appearances because you technically wouldn't own them unless you created those from scratch. Also, making minor changes to a game's story or characters isn't usually enough to keep you safe from litigation. In court, all the original creator would have to do is reasonably prove that your game is a copy of theirs to a judge. So changing the name from Anne to Sally or changing the order in which certain events happen just wouldn't be enough to keep you safe. Essentially, the TLDR is this. If you don't want to get sued, don't copy anyone else's work. Don't use their character likenesses. Don't use their story. Don't use their game. Just don't touch it. Create your own original content and you'll always be safe. And if you do get to a situation where someone does try to sue you for copyright theft, as long as you can reasonably prove that you weren't knowingly copying their stuff, you would at least avoid paying any fines or anything like that. Seriously, it's important that you understand this, folks, because you don't want to get sued because copyright theft is a very, very expensive thing to get taken to court for. Good luck out there, folks, and stay safe.